So question 33 deals directly with transposition. So transposition is when we shift where do is on the stay. In the last couple of lessons, we've talked about F do and G do, and that's just telling you what the first note of the tone set is, whether it's an F on our treble stave or a G on our treble stave. If you look up here in question 33, you can see that we are in F do, which means that this note in space number one right here is do, and it means that stepping up from space one to line two, we have a G, which we're calling re. And then stepping up from space two, sorry, line two to space three, we have our me sound. So do is in space one, G is on line two, re is in space two. The first thing you need to do is you need to write in your solfa underneath this melody. So pause the video here and do that now. As you can see, I've completed some of the solfa here for you. You need to make sure that you finish the rest. So that's A done. We can tick A, we have done it. B, we need to write out our tone set of this. So if we know that it's in F do, we think back to last lesson, lesson nine, all about tone sets. And we know that do is our F, which is living in space one of our stave. Re is our G, which is living on line two. And me is our A, which is on space number three. Once you've written them, make sure you do your stems. And you could write do, re, and me underneath the stave. Pause the video now and do that for me. So here is our tone set for this F, this melody in F do above. It is crucial when you are writing on the stave that you are very particular and neat about where you are putting your sounds. If your sound, I'll do an example over here. If your sound kind of looks like this, then it is not in one particular place on the stave and that is no help when you're a musician trying to read your music. So make sure you are absolutely particular about where you're putting your sounds. Now, we need to write out this new tone set and we're lifting it up by one set. We're going to be starting in G do. So instead of starting in F do, we're going to have G as our first sound, which is on line number two. Then we have A as our ray in space two. Then we have B as our me on line number three. So pause the video here and write out your tone set in G, our transposed up one step tone set. So once you've written your G tone set and make sure you're being very particular about where your sounds are on the stave, you now need to transpose the melody that we had up above in F do, this melody here, you are now transposing it on the stave and writing it here. First things first, you look at the first bar, rhythm, T, 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 T. Go down here, the rhythm is the same, T, 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 T. Second step, you look at your solfa, do, do, re, re. Here's your solfa. Do, do, re, re. But remember, it's transposed up into G. G is now our Do. So let's use those steps up here. Let's look at our rhythm first. We have Ta, Ta in the second bar. So that means we need to write that here. Here's my rhythm up the top. Let's have a look up here. we have me and do as our solfa. So we need to put me and do as our solfa down here. So let's do that. So now that I've got my rhythm and my solfa ready, I need to go up to my tone set that I've written out. My tone set is the G tone set I'm using here. So I know that B is my me sound and do is my uh, G is my Do sound, so I'm going to put them in. So here are my sounds written on the stave. I get that I'm writing on the computer and it's going to look far messier than you will in, um, than you'll do in your books, but make sure you're being very particular where you put it on the stave. Here's what the next bar looks like following that that process. So here's what the next bar looks like following that process. Make sure that you follow that process to complete question thirty three.